Today, we're diving into a comprehensive comparison between the brand new Surface Pro 12 and the Surface Pro 11. The Surface Pro 12 brings a more compact 12-inch frame, a fanless and ventless design, and a starting price of just $799. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 delivers flagship specs with a larger 13-inch screen, optional OLED display, 5G connectivity, and a more versatile port selection. Both devices support magnetic keyboards and the Surface Slim Pen 2, but they target very different users. But the big question is, which one is best for your needs and style? Well, let's dive into a detailed comparison of these two two-in-one tablets and see which one is the right choice for you. And if you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving it a like and subscribing. Let's start off with design. And this is where the Surface Pro 12 really leans into portability. Microsoft shaved off about half a pound from the Pro 11, bringing the Pro 12 down to just 1.5 pounds. The Pro 12 also looks cleaner, thanks to its slab-style, fanless build with no visible vents. Its dimensions are smaller across the board, giving it a more tablet-forward feel that's great for travel or casual use. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 feels more premium and substantial. It supports a larger flex keyboard with haptic touchpad and even a charging cradle for the Slim Pen 2, and you won't find these features on the Pro 12. The Pro 12's keyboard uses a standard precision touchpad and lacks those premium touches. One welcome update is the new fingerprint sensor under the power button, a nice bonus for security. But if you prefer a more expansive typing experience and need roomier keys, the Pro 11's 13-inch size remains the better fit especially for longer work sessions. Moving on to displays and audio, the differences are pretty clear. The Surface Pro 12 offers a 12-inch LCD touchscreen with a 2196 by 1464 resolution and 220 pixels per inch. It supports up to a 90 Hz refresh rate and 400 nits brightness, which is decent for indoor use and everyday tasks but there's no Dolby Vision support and no OLED option. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 steals the show with a larger 13-inch display, available in both LCD and OLED versions. The OLED variant delivers a rich 2880 by 1920 resolution, a much higher 267 pixels per inch, Dolby Vision IQ, and a stunning contrast ratio. Brightness can hit up to 900 nits outdoors, making it the obvious pick for media creators or those working in bright environments. As for audio, both models sport dual 2-watt speakers with Dolby Atmos. But with more room to resonate, the Surface Pro 11's speakers tend to sound fuller and richer. If display quality is high on your list, the Pro 11 is definitely the superior choice. When it comes to performance, Microsoft has clearly positioned these two tablets at different tiers. The Surface Pro 12 starts with an 8-core Snapdragon X Plus chip, 16GB of RAM, and up to 512GB of universal flash storage. That's enough for general productivity, streaming, and AI-enhanced tasks through Windows 11's Copilot Plus features, thanks to the 45 TOPS neural processing unit on board. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 scales up significantly with options for a 10-core Snapdragon X Plus or a 12-core Snapdragon X Elite chip. You can outfit it with up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and a full one terabyte solid state drive, giving it the edge for power users, developers, and content creators. It also uses true SSD storage, which is faster than the Pro 12's UFS solution. Both devices have soldered RAM, but allow for storage upgrades. So, while the Pro 12 handles casual use well, the Pro 11 delivers much more headroom for demanding multitasking, app development, or heavy media editing workflows. In terms of portability and battery, the Surface Pro 12 is clearly the lighter, slimmer, and more travel-friendly machine. At just 1.5 pounds and with no fans or vents, it's easy to toss in a bag and go. Microsoft claims up to 16 hours of local video playback and 12 hours of active web use, thanks to its less demanding chip and LCD screen. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 comes in heavier at 1.97 pounds and does have venting and internal fans for thermal control, necessary for housing the more powerful processors. Its battery life is rated up to 14 hours of video playback, but real-world results are closer to 10 hours. But it makes up for that with a more flexible port layout, including USB 4, Surface Connect, and even a nano SIM slot for 5G models. The Pro 12 only includes two USB-C 3.2 ports and drops the Surface Connect entirely, so charging and peripheral use is more limited. If battery life and portability are your top concerns, the Pro 12 wins here. 
As for my final verdict, the Surface Pro 12 is a top-tier 2-in-1 that checks a lot of boxes for students, frequent travelers, and anyone who wants a sleek, no-fuss Windows tablet at a reasonable price. On the other hand, the Surface Pro 11 is still the undisputed flagship. It delivers high-end performance, better display options including OLED model, more ports, and features like 5G connectivity and a flex keyboard with haptics. It's the device you choose if your workload is heavier or your expectations are higher. But if you're after affordability, portability, and a clean design that still gets the job done, the Surface Pro 12 might just be your perfect match.